Something mysterious is happening beneath Kentucky's iconic bluegrass region. The ground, once thought stable, is collapsing without warning. Entire fields, roads, and even neighborhoods are sinking into the earth overnight. Scientists are racing to uncover what's causing these sudden collapses, and what they found could reshape how we understand the land beneath our feet. In April 2025, a 60-foot crater suddenly appeared overnight on a horse farm near Bowling Green, Kentucky. Drone footage revealed a near-perfect circle where solid ground had been, with part of a barn swallowed into the void. Soil analysis showed years of water erosion had silently dissolved the limestone bedrock until it catastrophically collapsed. But this was no isolated disaster. The Kentucky Geological Survey identified dozens of sites with similar warning signs. Ground monitors detected subtle vibrations and settling movements indicating compromised underground structures. In some areas land sank inches before cracks appeared in roads and foundations. By mid-2025 the crisis escalated dramatically. Sinkhole numbers across Kentucky doubled compared to previous years. Unlike small depressions forming over decades these enormous circular pits emerge within hours. Data from NOAA and the Geological Survey revealed an alarming pattern. The highest concentrations clustered in Fayette, Warren and Jessamine counties, but new sinkholes were appearing even in regions once considered geologically stable. But what if these sinkholes are just the visible symptoms of something that's draining Kentucky from within? Satellite data from NASA's Grace VO mission revealed something shocking. Between 2022 and 2025 Central Kentucky lost 11% of its groundwater volume. That's billions of gallons of water that simply disappeared from underground aquifers. Where did all that water go? Hydrologists believe they've found the answer, and it points to a phenomenon that could trigger even more surface collapses. The water is draining into vast underground river systems that scientists are calling subterranean superhighways. These hidden waterways stretch for miles beneath the surface, moving water and sediment in unpredictable directions. The consequences are already visible across the region. Wells that provided reliable water for decades have suddenly gone dry overnight. Farmers wake up to find their water sources completely depleted with no obvious explanation. Meanwhile new springs are appearing in valleys miles away from where the water originally entered the ground. This hydrological chaos is redistributing enormous volumes of water through the cave systems, eroding new passages and weakening rock structures as it flows. Scientists describe this as a hydrological inversion, where the land's natural plumbing system starts working backwards, redirecting water through paths it never followed before. The real danger comes from what happens when these underground rivers shift course again, or when the passages they've carved become too large to support the weight above them. If a major aquifer collapses, it could trigger a cascade of surface failures across multiple counties simultaneously. Communities could lose their water supply and face ground instability at the same time. Emergency management officials are developing response plans but the unpredictable nature of underground water movement makes it nearly impossible to predict where the next crisis will occur. The disappearing water isn't just a resource problem though. The next discovery reveals how it's destroying an entire hidden ecosystem that most people never knew existed. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming journeys. Beneath Kentucky's surface lives a unique biological community that evolved over millions of years in complete darkness. Blind cavefish navigate through underground streams using sensors along their bodies instead of eyes. Translucent salamanders hunt tiny invertebrates in pools that never see sunlight. Ancient colonies of bacteria and microbes process nutrients in ways that scientists are only beginning to understand. This hidden ecosystem plays a crucial role in filtering and cleaning the water that eventually feeds surface streams and wells. But this entire underground world is now facing a threat that could cause its complete collapse within years. Testing conducted in 2025 by Kentucky Water Watch found contamination in nearly 40% of underground stream samples. Nitrates from agricultural fertilizers and pesticides from farming operations are seeping through the porous limestone much faster than anyone expected. On the surface, soil acts as a natural filter that breaks down many pollutants over time. Underground, the water flows through smooth limestone channels with almost nothing to slow it down or clean it up. Chemicals that entered the system weeks ago can travel miles through the cave networks, poisoning ecosystems far from their original source. The translucent salamanders that once thrived in these underground streams are disappearing from cave after cave. Populations of blind cavefish have crashed in multiple locations. The microbes that help purify water are dying off in contaminated zones. 
Biologists studying this crisis describe what they're witnessing as an extinction event unfolding in slow motion in places where almost no one can see it happening. Once these underground ecosystems collapse they have virtually no ability to recover because the creatures living there exist nowhere else on Earth and reproduce very slowly. The loss of these biological communities will have direct consequences for surface water quality and agricultural productivity. While life is disappearing below, something equally important is dying above four. Kentucky's reputation rests on the strength and speed of its thoroughbred horses and those legendary animals depend on the unique quality of bluegrass region soil. For generations the limestone bedrock beneath Kentucky pastures released calcium and other minerals that made the grass extraordinarily nutritious for developing strong bones in young horses. This natural advantage helped Kentucky become the epicenter of America's horse racing industry. But soil chemistry studies completed in 2025 reveal that this geological gift is rapidly disappearing. Calcium and phosphorus levels in bluegrass region soil have declined by up to 25% in just the past few years. The same underground erosion that creates sinkholes is also leaching away the minerals that made Kentucky soil special. As groundwater moves through the limestone it dissolves and carries away calcium, phosphorus and other nutrients faster than natural processes can replace them. Satellite imaging analysis confirms the problem is visible even from space. The distinctive color that gives the bluegrass its name shows measurably reduced chlorophyll intensity compared to historical imagery. The pastures that produce generations of champion racehorses are literally turning pale as their nutritional value diminishes. Horse farm owners are responding with increasingly desperate measures. Some are injecting mineral supplements directly into the soil in an attempt to artificially maintain the nutrition levels their animals need. Others are experimenting with hydroponic feeding systems and carefully balanced dietary supplements to compensate for what the grass no longer provides naturally. These interventions are expensive and may not fully replicate the benefits of naturally mineral-rich pasture. The economic implications extend far beyond the horse industry because the declining soil quality affects all forms of agriculture in the region. And as the soil turned pale, the farmers discovered something even more incredible. Modern agricultural technology has revealed a disturbing pattern that traditional farming methods never detected. Artificial intelligence-driven soil sensors planted across Kentucky farmlands are identifying stress fractures and subsidence patterns that align perfectly with underground void maps. The sensors measure moisture levels, nutrient distribution, and subtle ground movements that would be impossible for farmers to notice with the naked eye. The data shows that crop yields in certain counties have declined 15 to 20 percent despite receiving normal rainfall and proper fertilization. Something is stealing nutrients from plants before they can absorb them, and the culprit lies beneath the surface. When farmers apply fertilizer to fields sitting above karst voids and underground passages a significant portion of those expensive nutrients simply disappears into the ground. Rain and irrigation water carry dissolved fertilizers downward through cracks and porous limestone depositing them in underground streams miles away instead of keeping them available for crops. Scientists have started calling this phenomenon ghost farming, where inputs vanish underground before providing any benefit to the plants they were meant to nourish. The fertilizers that disappear don't just represent wasted money for farmers. They end up contaminating aquifers and underground ecosystems creating the pollution problems described earlier while simultaneously leaving surface crops undernourished. The economic scale of this problem extends far beyond Kentucky's borders. The state produces over $6 billion in agricultural exports annually, supplying crops and livestock products to markets across America and around the world. If the ghost farming pattern spreads to more agricultural regions with similar limestone geology the impact on national food production could be severe. Tennessee, Missouri and parts of Indiana share comparable underground structures and could face the same invisible drainage of agricultural resources. Some agricultural scientists are now recommending dramatic changes to farming practices in karst regions including sealed hydroponic systems and contained growing environments that prevent nutrient loss to groundwater. However, these solutions require massive investments that most farmers cannot afford. The agricultural crisis compounds an even more immediate danger facing Kentucky's growing cities. Lexington has experienced explosive growth over the past two decades with new housing developments spreading across formerly rural land at an unprecedented pace. The expansion brought jobs, investment and population growth that officials welcomed. But a comprehensive structural audit completed in 2025 revealed a terrifying oversight. Nearly 70% of new housing constructed in the past 15 years sits directly above areas classified as high karst risk zones. Thousands of families are living in homes built on ground that could collapse at any time, 
and most of them have no idea they're in danger. Engineers conducting routine foundation inspections in multiple neighborhoods recorded measurable foundation tilt in dozens of homes. The structures are settling unevenly because the ground beneath them is slowly sinking. In most cases the movement is only a few millimeters per year, not enough to cause immediate structural failure but enough to indicate that underground voids are gradually collapsing or expanding, cracks appear in basement walls and driveways, doors start sticking in their frames, windows develop stress fractures, homeowners often attribute these problems to normal settling or minor construction defects, not realizing their early warning signs of potential catastrophic failure underground. City planners and emergency management officials are now facing difficult decisions about how to protect residents without causing panic or destroying property values. Some are calling for car-safe zoning regulations similar to earthquake building codes or floodplain restrictions. These new rules would require expensive ground surveys before construction and mandate special foundation designs that can bridge across underground voids. But implementing these requirements retroactively for existing neighborhoods is legally and financially complicated. Insurance companies are starting to take notice as well, with some beginning to exclude sinkhole damage from standard homeowner policies in high-risk areas. The urban development crisis represents a collision between population growth and geological reality. Lexington needs housing for its expanding workforce, but the safest land for construction is increasingly scarce as more of the underground void network gets mapped and understood. Engineers predict that without significant intervention, urban sinkhole incidents could triple within the next decade potentially causing injuries, deaths, and billions of dollars in property damage. Advanced LiDAR scanning technology has given scientists the ability to map underground structures without excavating them. When researchers turned these sensors toward Kentucky's cave systems, they discovered sealed chambers that had been closed off from the outside world for thousands of years. Inside these time capsules, preliminary explorations found prehistoric artifacts, fossil remains and geological evidence of ancient climate events including massive floods from the last ice age. Each sealed chamber represents a snapshot of history preserved in darkness for millennia. But the same groundwater changes and cave collapses threatening modern Kentucky are now destroying these irreplaceable archaeological and paleontological treasures. As underground water levels shift unpredictably, previously dry chambers are flooding with sediment-laden water that buries or destroys delicate artifacts and fossils. In other locations the ceilings of ancient chambers are collapsing, crushing everything inside under tons of rubble. Archaeologists describe their work as a desperate race against time trying to document and excavate sites before they're destroyed forever. Every month brings news of another chamber that collapsed or flooded before scientists could properly study it. Each loss represents questions about human history and Earth's past that will now never be answered because the evidence is gone. The artifacts found in these caves include stone tools, pottery fragments and the remains of animals that went extinct at the end of the Ice Age. Some chambers contain layers of sediment that record flooding events from 10,000 years ago, providing clues about how ancient climate changes affected this region. This information could help scientists understand how ecosystems respond to rapid environmental shifts, knowledge that's increasingly relevant as modern climate change accelerates. But the window of opportunity to gather this data is closing rapidly. Kentucky's caves may hold answers to questions about human migration patterns, extinction events and ancient climate that scientists have been pursuing for decades. Yet those answers are being erased by the same geological instability that threatens modern communities. The archaeological crisis adds another dimension to Kentucky's underground emergency. The state isn't just losing farmland, water resources and structural stability. History itself is disappearing into collapsing voids and flooded chambers that will never be accessible again. This highlights how the crisis affects not just current residents but also the ability of future generations to understand their past. The destruction of these ancient sites also suggests that rapid geological changes like this have probably happened before in Kentucky's long history. Kentucky's underground crisis can be traced to a single accelerating force, climate change. While often associated with rising temperatures and sea levels, climate change also reshapes how water moves through the ground and in Kentucky that shift is destabilizing the very landscape. Scientists have linked the rapid intensification of subsidence and sinkhole formation to this growing disruption. As atmospheric carbon dioxide reaches record highs, rainfall becomes slightly acidic when it absorbs CO2 forming carbonic acid. This weak acid dissolves Kentucky's limestone bedrock far faster than normal rain, eroding the foundation beneath communities and farmland, compounding the problem temperature extremes are now more frequent and severe. Long droughts dry and crack the clay layers above the limestone creating fissures. When torrential rains follow, water surges through these cracks straight into underground cave systems rather than seeping slowly through soil. 
Each cycle of drought and deluge fractures the bedrock further, enlarging underground voids and weakening the surface. What was once an occasional event is becoming routine, and each episode leaves the ground more fragile than before. Kentucky has become a natural laboratory for understanding climate-driven geological instability. Its vast karst terrain full of caves, sinkholes and dissolving limestone makes it especially vulnerable. But Kentucky is not alone. Similar geological conditions exist across Tennessee, Alabama, Florida, Missouri, Indiana, and much of the Midwest, as well as in China, Croatia, and Slovenia. If Kentucky's experience signals what happens when climate change meets karst terrain, millions worldwide could face comparable threats. Scientists warn that Kentucky's situation should serve as an early warning system. The data from real-time monitoring networks, radar surveys and groundwater flow tracking could help other regions prepare before collapse begins, but that requires investment and the political will to act before disaster strikes. Without decisive global efforts to slow warming, the processes undermining Kentucky's ground today may soon echo across continents. Kentucky's unfolding story exposes a stark truth about the land beneath us, it's far less stable and permanent than we assume. Beneath homes, farms, and cities lies a restless earth, where rock dissolves, water shifts, and the ground can change dramatically over surprisingly short timescales. What's happening in Kentucky today shows how human activity and climate change can accelerate these natural geological processes to hazardous speeds. Yet scientists stress that while the situation is urgent, it's not beyond hope, if action is taken soon. Advances in technology offer reasons for optimism. Real-time monitoring systems can detect subsidence and underground movement before catastrophic collapses occur. Ground-penetrating radar now provides detailed maps of underground voids, helping engineers target the most vulnerable zones. Proven stabilization methods such as injecting grout or other materials into weakened ground can reinforce compromised areas. Urban planners can incorporate karst awareness into zoning and construction codes, directing development away from unstable terrain. Farmers can adapt through improved fertilizer use and erosion control, reducing groundwater pollution and soil loss. The greater challenge, however, isn't technological, it's economic and political. Comprehensive surveys cost millions, and retrofitting buildings or infrastructure for karst stability often exceeds local budgets. Adjusting agricultural practices may require upfront investments and temporary yield reductions, even though they promise long-term sustainability. Many communities resist changes that could lower property values or restrict development in cherished areas. As a result, action too often comes only after disaster strikes, despite clear scientific warnings. Kentucky's crisis raises broader questions about preparedness and foresight. As climate change continues to intensify rainfall and erosion, other regions face similar risks. The data emerging from Kentucky could help prevent tragedies elsewhere, but only if society pays attention and learns from it. The shifting ground beneath Kentucky serves as a vivid reminder of our planet's fragile balance and the deep connections between geology, water, agriculture, urban life and climate. If you found this video eye-opening, make sure to hit the like button and share it with others who should know about what's happening underground. I'd love to hear your thoughts, drop a comment below and let's discuss what you think is really causing these mysterious collapses. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our next investigation into the hidden forces shaping our world. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious, stay aware, and stay safe. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.